Facebook has been under fire recently for allowing a third party, Cambridge Analytica, to gather and distribute its users' private data under the guise of a personality quiz. Much of that data was reportedly given to the Trump administration during the 2016 presidential campaign. Facebook's creator and CEO Mark Zuckerberg appeared in front of Congress earlier this month. He opened his testimony with an apology. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. Many are calling for stricter privacy regulations. Even Zuckerberg himself said this may be necessary. The internet is growing in importance around the world, in people's lives. And I think that it is inevitable that there will need to be some regulation. Jacob First is a professor at DePaul with experience in cybersecurity. He says that Zuckerberg likely knows that regulations may be unavoidable, but would be costly to Facebook's business model. I would guess almost certainly that part of his strategy in his opening remarks and his appearance in front of Congress was an attempt to convince Congress that we don't need that regulation. Because any kind of privacy regulation is almost certainly going to impact Facebook's profits. Now for some users I talked to, this wasn't a really large concern. They considered Facebook to be kind of outdated and some of them hardly even use it at all. I quit using Facebook way before the privacy stuff was like big news. Um, I think the privacy stuff feeds into it, of course, because it's kind of, you know, it's gross. But um, I think it's just kind of old news and it's such a long form social networking site. On the other side, Gina Scioli is a DePaul student who does see value in Facebook, but says the recent controversies make her nervous. I think there's a really special aspect of knowing what my brother who lives across the country is doing, but there's also like, am I putting at risk my own personal information? First says it's important for Facebook users to educate themselves on how and why their data is being used. You pick up that copy of Cosmopolitan at the grocery store, right? So you can take their sex quiz. You know they're getting the price of the magazine. Okay, so that's a trade you understand. There are trades like that happening all the time online. It's just the price is typically hidden. Until stricter regulations are put into place, users themselves may need to find a way to understand what that price may be and if they're willing to pay it. Evan Rogerson, Good Day to Paul.